Welcome to our guide on deploying a Next.js 14 application to AWS Lambda using the serverless framework. We begin by modifying the Next.js configuration to enable serverless tracing. This is crucial because it allows the serverless framework to properly handle the lifecycle of our application during deployment. The with serverless trace function is imported from at Vercel, next serverless, trace, which wraps around our existing Next.js configuration, ensuring serverless compatibility without altering the behavior of our app. Next, we'll set up the serverless handler for our Next.js application using the serverless HTTP library, which creates a server-compatible version of your app's request handler. We import the next package and initialize our app in production mode which is indicated by setting dev to false. Once the app is ready, we export an asynchronous function as handler, which will process incoming HTTP requests and return the rendered pages. This handler is the entry point for AWS Lambda, bridging the gap between your next JS app and serverless deployment. Finally, well, take a look at the serverless YML configuration file, where we define the details of the AWS deployment. We start by specifying the service name, which in this case is Next.js app. Under the provider section, we set Oz as our cloud provider, select the Node.js 14x runtime to match our application's environment, and specify the region we want to deploy our app to. In the functions section, we define the next app function that points to the handler we've created. It is configured to respond to any HTTP request, as specified by the event section. To make sure we're using the Vercel serverless plugin, we list at Vercel, next serverless, trace under plugins. This setup ensures that all routing is correctly handled by Next.js within our serverless environment on AWS Lambda.